viewers to another exciting episode or gripping episode of Talk the Talk with me, Dish. Today, we will be reviewing the quirky Citroen C3 um, shine in our first segment with Nita Stadler. Thereafter, we have an expert in studio um, to give us a few tips on motor-related queries. And in our Talk of the Town, we have Natalie Ordendal from Williams Hunt Edenville, and she joins us in studio today with her absolutely charismatic um, person. Personality. So let's get into it with Nita Stadler who's going to talk about the Citroen C3. Hey Nita. Hi. Okay, let's talk about the C3. Okay, so it is a French vehicle. Mm -hmm. It's a city vehicle. Um, with the typical French flair traits to it. Um, okay. It has an optimistic presence, it's easy to drive, it's got a distinctive styling, it's very edgy. Okay. And we'll get into that with the, with the, the looks of it. Okay. Um, can I just jump into it? Yes, just jump I'm into just it. jumping into it. Okay. okay. <laughs> Let's talk about the style. Yes, yeah, so um, it has bold graphic elements okay. um, with, contemporary, with a contemporary shape to it. Mm -hmm. um, it stands out due to it has a dual tone to it, mm -hmm. so it is in two different colors the, uh, the outside. Mm -hmm. um, it has a lighting signature with LED, dates I'm running. Um, and stunning 3D effect real lights. Okay. But what makes it different or what, what makes it stand out in terms of looks is on the side it has air bumps. Okay. So air bumps are unmistakable. They, they have dual purpose. They're not only pretty, mm -hmm. they work as well. Okay. They protect the body from dents and scuff marks. Um, it's filled with air and it's made from tough material so it's like pumps so when you're at a grocery store or something someone pumps with a trolley or it, it's not going to be damaged okay so this is quite a little compact car yes but you really had a lot to say about the exterior <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about but i hope the inside has just as much well yes okay <laughs> <laughs> okay so let me start by saying the first thing that I noticed while getting into into the car was when I closed the door. So you know a normal car has the the almost integrated door panel on the side. Yes. So you, it's just a little hook. You 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 put your fingers in, you pull it close. This one has a band that okay. you can pull. So that was quite noticeable for me, but okay. I liked it. It's different. Okay. Um, it has red inlays. The one I drove because of the dual tone. So if you take the exterior with the red red detailing you'll have it inside as well hmm. um the infotainment is a bit lower so okay. usually it's up high on the dashboard this one was a bit lower okay. it can be a bit of a problem while driving okay. but it has steering wheel toggle so you're not going to be too much focused on the infotainment system but okay. you can see where you're going as well and you said you did the, the steering wheel um had a very tight grip it's it very, is very okay. grippy yeah. um it's it's modern it's contemporary okay. uh, the vibrant red dashboard is it's 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 something different that's what i like about it. it's it's french it's out there it's extravagant mm -hmm. it's it's very very stylish and you talked something you, when you came back from your test drive uh you talked a bit about the the seat belt. Seat so belt. the seat belt reminder mm -hmm. is located in the rear view mirror above is okay. the sign. It's yeah. usually in the instrument cluster, yes. yes. which is different, but I like it. It's something different. It, it gives character to the vehicle. Okay. <laughs> Made it unique for exactly. you. Exactly. Okay, so what does it offer in terms of um, uh, the features? It's features, yeah. specs, so it has lane departure warning. It has it has a coffee break alert so <laughs> a coffee break alert is a system that reminds you to take a break i think every two hours on your journey but i was thinking that's typical french you know how the italians yeah. love and the then, espressos yeah. and, all. and if you drink tea i mean i was just gonna say <laughs> okay um, <laughs> most of we indians love our tea so anyway i'm not feeling bad carry You're on not feeling bad. <laughs> i know yeah. you said that it has cruise control with and the it's speed got limiter yes okay. you'll, you'll start, start to assist, yes. drive attention warning and all those others are also integrated into the vehicle okay and did you enjoy the drive 
I the did. short girls like you average girls like okay, myself average, <laughs> average girls like you like the smaller beer cups and it's easier to handle <laughs> okay. it is easier to handle I have to say. Okay. it's got a biotech uh, um, engine it has a six-speed automatic gearbox. Okay. Um, it was awarded actually the engine of the year in 2015, 2016, 2017, and 2018. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So wow. It, it's got a good engine to okay. it. Okay. All right. I think it was about 81 kilowatts. 81 kilowatts of okay. power. Yes. All right. Um, fuel consumption was 6.8, okay. which is a you did bit say heavier, yes, okay. But it's it's fine because it's uh, okay. I love the outside. I love the inside. So, so 6.8, we're gonna say it is a bit hefty. It's right? a bit hefty, okay. but right. if you look at the other things that the vehicle has to okay. offer, it's um, it's also easy to drive. Yeah. So I think for an, yeah. a student or someone that's a bit more inexperienced yes. while driving. Will definitely appreciate this vehicle. Okay, so is there anything you'd like to add about this little cute um, French? A French little. Yeah. I love it. It's, <laughs> it's adorable. It has character. Today we're more focused on sleek designing and all. This car is just out there living its life, doing its best, and looking glamorous. I, I must say, I'm really glad that Saturn is back. Yes. Saturn is back, and um, I'm happy that we're going to be able to drive a few Citroens now because when I actually entered into uh, journalism, motoring journalism, that's when Citroen left. Oh, good. So I didn't really get to drive a lot of, I mean, any Citroen, test drives, mm. test drive any Citroen. So I'm so glad that they're back and I hope and I wish them all the best and I hope they can grow again from strength to strength. So up next we have our talk tip of the week. <laughs> of the week and this week Ashley Russ is in studio to tell us more about why your vehicle might be leaking oil. So, hi Ashley. Hi Dee. Thank you for joining us. Oh, thank you for having me. I see me. you have a new hairdo. You're going black. Right? Yes. Indian hair like mine and I'm going red. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so. that's so true. <laughs> so Ash, today we are talking a bit more about why your vehicle might be leaking oil. So please go ahead and tell us some more about that. Okay, so um, if your vehicle is leaking oil, you will notice your vehicle is leaking oil by a fresh dark puddle of oil underneath your vehicle as you pull away or it will be really noticeable in your driveway especially. Okay, so Ash, I believe that an oil leak might be something that a motorist um, experiences at least once. I know I've experienced it, so do tell us uh, some of the causes uh, for your vehicle potentially leaking oil. Okay. So I would say the main cause for oil leaking from your vehicle might be uh, broken seals or your gasket might be broken as well. Mm -hmm. These are meant to avoid oil leakage between metal parts in the vehicle, but due to heat expanding the metal, seals and gaskets get damaged. Once the metal cools and diminishes, there will be gaps in between which will allow the oil to seep through. Okay, so Ash, what can vehicle owners do to prevent um, this from happening? Um, D, they can ensure that their gasket and seals are checked whenever they send the vehicle in for a service. Okay, Ash, is there any other common causes um, for this to happen that you would like to share with our viewers? Certainly, D. Um, I would say another common cause for oil to leak from your vehicle could be an impaired oil filter or oil pan. Um, if your vehicle leaks when it's parked, and over time it worsens, it could be that the air filter or pan is damaged. If the filter is damaged, the oil will leak onto the engine and drip onto the floor. And this might be due to potholes and severe road conditions. Mm -hmm. If you notice oil patches under your car, this is another component to have checked when you take your baby in for that mm. annual service. Okay, so Ash, is there, or are there any closing statements um, that you'd like to share with our viewers on this topic? Always, always. <laughs> okay. um, if you ever find yourself in a situation, don't panic. Simply give a trustworthy mechanic a ring and they will tell you what to do next. Remember that these type of things are bound to occur, but also know that there is a couple of ways you can influence this in a positive manner as well. You can try to avoid this from happening to you and to your vehicle by ensuring that your vehicle is always served when 
service when due, along with ensuring that your vehicle doesn't overheat, but providing it with plenty of coolant and do regular oil checks. Oh, thank you so much, Ashley. We really appreciate you joining us once again to educate our viewers on important vehicle content regarding their vehicles and other automotive related topics. And um, ladies and gentlemen viewers, we thank you for your request with regard to what you'd like to hear from us. And we always go through every single one of your emails and the inbox messages we get on this page. So thank you so much. And we will be back next week with another talk tip. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Talk the Talk with me, Dish. It is such an honor to be spending some time in studio today with yet another incredible contributor in Motoring South Africa. Natalie Ordendahl is the service manager at Williams Hunt Edenville. Now it is so important for me to sit with ladies like this in the industry because they are so few and far between and I believe that um, it's important to um, relate the experiences within motoring South Africa so young women have the opportunity and are aware of the opportunities that are available to them within the motoring industry. So Natalie is a passionate person, she's passionate about her job which is essentially to take care of customers, providing them with services relating to the maintenance and aftercare of their vehicles, also pro providing them with a thorough explanation of procedures and processes regarding their extended warranties and cover. Um, I don't know too much about this position, that's why we have Natalie here. So let's welcome Natalie Odendal, proudly brought to you by Sariti Solutions. Hey Natalie. Hi, thank you guys for having me. You're welcome. It's very exciting. You're just like literally up the road from us. So thank <laughs> yes, you. But definitely. you must be very busy. How's things at the dealer shop? Very busy. Mm -hmm. uh, getting a lot of clients in, even though with the COVID-19, you know, a lot of people need care on their vehicles. It's the same as your self-care. Yes. So we're there and we're happy to help the people in need. Yes, yeah, sometimes need. we need to service our own engines, right? Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Natalie, tell me a bit more about how did your journey in motoring begin? So I matriculated in uh, 2010. Okay. Um, obviously, I hated cars. Okay. I had a boyfriend who was obviously obsessed with them. All right. And when the boys started talking, I would walk away. Mm. And um, unfortunately, I needed to get a job, um, you know, to survive. Mm. So I started in the motor industry as a filing temp cloth. Okay. And then um, worked my way up through the service department. Okay. Started as a booking clerk, cashier, yes. mm. service advisor. Um, from there, I went to warranties and then the opportunity of service manager came up and okay. I grabbed it with both my hands. Okay, awesome. So Natalie, tell me, what is it that, I mean, you've got to have a strong will to be in this department, especially as a female. Definitely. Um, what drives you, what motivates you and what keeps you going? Well, the fact that I'm blessed to have my health, my job, and I have so much more to be grateful for and the fact that I'm teaching a lot of people um, how to grab every opportunity given to you. Mm. And do you find that there's a lack of respect in terms of um, the fact that you are a woman? Yeah. hundred um, percent. You uh, you do get these, these people that obviously think ladies don't know what they're talking about when mm. it comes to the motor industry. Mm. Um, but we've put ourselves in those positions where we can actually provide you with information being a man or a woman. Mm. You know, mm. it doesn't mean what gender you are. Mm you can play the role. No, absolutely. And so what advice would you give to young girls that wants to, um, you know, be in this position as sales uh, service manager? Um, my advice to young women interested in entering the industry would mm. be um, basically um, confidence and take your goals because it's a male dominant interest industry. Mm. You know, mm. you got to be a woman and stand out and mm. be who you are meant to be yes yes no definitely and so is there anybody in within the industry or outside the industry that you aspire to be like or that you have been mentored by or 
Definitely. Um, Jethro Price and Vessel Marie. Um, Jethro Price used to be my previous service manager. I used to work for him. Okay. Um, and he's mentored me a lot. He's taught me a lot of what I know today. And so has Vessel. Vessel has also guided me in making clear and conscious business decisions and giving good customer expectations and mm. services. Mm -hmm. And so you obviously, um, it is obvious, <laughs> as I said, that you accepted the invite um, in terms of uh, being on the show to educate yeah. and empower women watching it. And how do you feel about these initiatives that are taking place in the motoring industry now? Well, these are events that also show an opportunity to young women and girls that there's a place for them in these yeah. traditionally masculine industries. Yes, yes, yes. And how do you feel about um, the current mental state of women, uh, especially after COVID and, and the fact that people are finding it, especially post-COVID, if you have been, um, uh, you know, infected or affected by um, the disease, how do you feel about, or how, how can you advise them to overcome these? Definitely. Firstly, and in my important, most importantly, confidence. Mm. Have the courage to lean in, take a seat mm. at the table, mm. Com commitment like buying a puppy, you either in or you out. Yeah. Um, there's no <laughs> such thing as in between. When yes. you focus on your positive, opportunities will reveal themselves. Mm. A problem shared is a problem solved. Yeah. So mm. my final tip is be creative, invest in yourself and invest in your own luck. Mm. And how would you advise women to support each other? Many women struggle with their own accomplishments. That's true. They feel confident about yourself, your abilities, and push past your comfort zones. Mm. Um, empower one another. Mm. You know, lift each other up. We often look to motivational quotes and wake up in the morning and let you know you get all of these quotes and you, say, oh, you know I should do this today is any is are there any of those that you follow yes definitely yeah. um, a successful woman is one who can build a firm foundation with mm. the bricks others have thrown at her this being this. said never underestimate anyone yes. or yours or theirs uh, mm. capabilities what do you represent and what would you like to be re remembered for representing within yourself, your values, your attributes, your your strong points? Um, mainly it would be the legacy from knowing so little and mm. teaching and learning so much more about my career and everything else. Mm. Put your mind to it, anything is possible. Mm. Mm. And are there any important or great lessons that you've learned through all of your um, accomplishments or failures? Definitely. Uh, be kind to yourself. Mm. Practice self-care. Recognize what you've already sh uh, already accomplished. Mm. Um, remember that struggles are a part of the journey and a learning opportunity. Mm. Be thankful for what and who you are and yes. what you have. And where to from here? Oh, the possibilities are endless. Mm. Um, you know, I'm looking at becoming a DP from mm. there, running Love my it. own business. Mm. So it's... A, the opportunities are endless. Yes, endless. yes. And especially within the motoring industry. Hundred percent. People think it's just, you know, but you, you can grow and there are opportunities that lie ahead. And Definitely. Yeah. Is there anything else you'd like to add? No, just thank you very much for actually doing this and empowering the woman um, in the industry to take this leap. Um, it's always a stressful day for us running the departments that we are. and. Yes. For someone like you to recognize what we do in the industry is yes. such a great thing for us. Wow. Um, it makes us feel a little bit more appreciated wow. in a male dominant <laughs> yes. industry. Yes. So thank you for that. Thank you for saying that and th thank you for validating what I do. I appreciate <laughs> you and yeah, kudos to you. For thank you that very, you very much guys. <laughs> okay, and that's the end of another episode of Talk the Talk. Thank you for watching, supporting and following us once again. Also, please remember to follow us on our social media platforms and remember we have thousands of vehicles on sale to choose from countrywide on our vehicle listing page at www.womentalk.co.za where we only advertise for bank accredited dealerships. 
Ladies, we are reflections of the people in our lives, whether they are no longer there or only in our life for a moment. We take on their energy and it becomes a part of us. We are a product of our environment. So we must be aware of what we're choosing to surround ourselves with. You need to associate with people that inspire you, people that challenge you to rise higher and people that make you better. Don't waste your valuable time with people that are not adding to your growth. Your destiny is too important, so remember you're a product of your environment and do surround yourself with the best company. Ladies, never forget the question should never be who's going to let me, it should always be who's going to stop me. Mm -hmm.